Hallelujah. Let me start by prophesying over your life. I think when I was praying, the Lord gave me a scripture, Deuteronomy chapter 8, 7 to 9. I have to obey God and speak it over your life. Then I'll charge our hearts tonight. Just allow me read and then I'll speak it over your life. For the Lord thy God bringeth thee, this is the scripture that came to me while I was praying, into a good land, a land of brooks of water, of fountains and depths that spring out of valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley and vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of oil, of olive and honey. Verse 9, a land wherein thou shalt eat bread without scarceness. Thou shalt not lack anything in it. A land whose stones are iron and out of whose hills thou mayest dig it brass. This is provision even in the times of scarcity. Even though I'm not teaching on finances tonight, but I have to obey the Lord in the name of Jesus. By the power of prophecy, I'm praying for you that beginning from this week, may you step into a strange level of financial testimonies. We call upon God who has graciously shown us mercy that in the name of Jesus Christ, everyone connected to this grace i'm prophesying to you by the spirit of the living god not not in two weeks not in three weeks not next year not in march you have the faith to believe i speak over your life in the name of jesus step into a realm of extraordinary abundance abundance by the wisdom of god abundance by the favor of god abundance by strategic relationships abundance by inheritance in the name of Jesus so don't be surprised if someone who has not called you in a long time calls you and says God just put it in my heart that for the remaining part of this year every month not once not twice every month that I should be blessing you and blessing your children you have the faith to believe it. I speak it over your life. Amen. Hallelujah. I remember very humorously, I was speaking here, I think it was last year or so. Um, I used to have a dog. The dog is now dead. And I just mentioned the dog and someone called from US and said, I'll be taking care of the dog every week and every month. I'll be sending money from UK. And I said, what is all this? For a dog, what is it eating? Let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. I've taught you that it is what is upon you that controls everything around you. Believe me when I tell you that. It is what comes on your head that controls what is around you. It says, thou anointest my head with oil, but I see the effect of what is on my head on my cup. He doesn't anoint the cup. Thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. In the name of Jesus. Please be seated. God is doing something across the globe that is phenomenal. God is doing something in Africa that is phenomenal. As a man of God, I was sharing with a few people back in Lagos. I'm seeing the formation of a cloud that once happened before we came to the scene. There is a cloud that is gathering again. God is moving in a way perhaps not exact but a way similar to what he has done before maybe before some of us were born but he's coming again and we are seeing the formation of that prophetic cloud gathering from region to region gathering from nation to nation gathering from continent to continent perhaps could it be 
the formation for the last move of God before Jesus returns. I doubt that there will be many, many other moves. The signs are already showing that we are wrapping up. It is true. But we are seeing a heavy cloud that is forming. And this cloud is going to pour out rain. That rain is not going to be little. That rain will last. Hallelujah. It is true. This is not a cloud that is just forming. Just No, 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 no. This one is beyond the fist of a man's hand. It is a very mighty thick cloud. The Spirit of God Himself is gathering that cloud. It's a mighty rain of revival. It's a mighty rain of outpouring. It's a mighty rain of awakenings. It is the reenacting of Ezekiel 37 again. And I have seen this many times in my visions. In 2005, the Lord opened my eyes and I saw the continent of Asia. I saw fire just like a single candlestick. And I saw many Chinese young people. And it came upon one, just one person. And it began to spread, began to spread, began to spread. You see, I have seen the same formation in Africa. Because this is a continent that will present Christ to the world before Jesus returns. It is in prophecy. It is true. And if you are here gathered tonight, let me tell you, it is because there is something within your spirit. Tonight, deep is about to call unto deep. Deep is about to call unto deep. Deep is about to call unto deep. Doesn't matter whether you are a male or female. Doesn't matter whether you are young or old. It is a prophetic formation over something mighty that God is doing and we're glad that we'll be witnessing this in our lifetime the fathers in the next 10 to 20 years the truth is that for the fathers the cloud is already shifting they are already seeing the signs there are chariots ready to come and pick them it will not be immediate but it will not be very long there is a baton in the spirit a transference genuine authentic graces and mantles over the next decade hear me I'm saying this by the spirit of prophecy that over the next 10 years there will be a prophetic transition within the body of Christ there are many others have gone still within the decade men like Reinhard Bonke men like T.L. Osborne Pat Robinson left this year. Maurice Sorulo, they have gone. Our fathers in Nigeria are still here because of their covenant of long life. They will still be here for a while. But it will not be for too long. They know it. We know it. So there is a transition in the spirit. And Elijah told Elisha, if you can see me, if you can see me, if you will not lose focus and see me but you see it is not only a handing over of mantles that will be happening there are other mantles that could not be handed over because there were no faithful vessels to carry it and when the carriers were old all those who were in front of them were in the order of Gehazi and Judas so they could not hand over the mantle and many of them died with the mantles. But you see, mantles don't go back to heaven. No. That means they are somewhere being preserved by the spirit of grace, waiting for vessels that will become fit and dexterous. Listen, you will see mantles that we have not seen in the body of Christ maybe for the last hundred years. I pray we have the grace to receive them. You will see people walk in mantles that the last person who walked in it was written in the Bible. And you are wondering where did this grace come from? This blend of spiritual formation. Where is this one coming from? I have seen this and it will happen. Oh.
like you to pray one prayer whilst you are seated. Father, I am available, available to be the Esther of my generation, available to be the Gideon, available to be the Ruth, the Naomi, available to be the Elijah. Shadeka, Sadaka, Brantaska, Baraka, Tebeleke, Paraka, Tosiata. Go ahead and pray. You're not wasting your time. This is a prophetic and an apostolic ministry. Seba landa kasalaka baraka tafraskatich. Krateke bereku siata. Respond to the staring in the spirit. Respond to the staring in the spirit. Staring in the spirit, don't waste it. Take a few minutes to pray in the spirit. We see the cloud, we see the cloud, we see the cloud, we see the cloud. A mighty formation in the spirit. This is Koinonia. Ale paraso brande belengo kasabra gadi balakusiata. The spirit man is getting enlarged. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray.